what's up everybody um recently i've been making a video based on the oil painting effect in photoshop yeah i know it's been an amazing art style because most of you guys have been responding so much to it and it's really awesome so i'm gonna say a big thanks to you guys for responding to the video and also to my post but in photoshop there are so many issues that we encounter whenever we make use of photoshop like some of the features not working or some of the features not being available in photoshop due to the fact of the graphics card or your kind of pc you are making use of i personally have experienced those issues and so on and there was a time i've been looking for the oil painting which i really don't know more about photoshop i've been looking for the oil painting before i get to know that you have to make use of an i series and need to have a graphics card that support the oil painting before you will be able to make use of it in photoshop so after making two videos and two artwork making use of the oil painting filter in photoshop i realized that not everybody can make use of this oil painting because of the kind of pc they are having and most times you might have an i series pc but the graphics card wouldn't be able to power the oil painting effect so i decided to make a video showing you guys how to achieve the oil painting effect without the oil painting filter in photoshop but this will not really really look exactly like the oil painting effect but that we do because there will be no difference between the oil painting filter and making use of this um, filter which i'll be showing you guys in this video but you will definitely see the difference between the oil painting and this filter we are going to be making use of right now i'm just going through the default process i've been going through when i am um, creating the oil painting effect in photoshop so just keep watching and so that you get to know the filter you will be making use of to get the oil painting effect
After smudging, go up to the filter menu, sharpen, and apply the smart sharpen with the, with, the, with, the, with the values you can see on the screen. And after that, go back to the filter menu and then apply the diffuse from the stylized option. Click on that and apply the diffuse. And after applying the first diffuse, rotate your image 90 degree clockwise. Apply the diffuse again. Rotate your image 90 degree. Also apply the diffuse and still rotate the image 90 degree. Apply the diffuse so once you've done this proceed with all the options you want to do or whatever modification you want to keep doing to your image You can skip any part of this video because every process here remains the same only the oil painting effect that is totally different from the previous videos that i have made so you can just skip the video and maybe go to the ending because the second application of this is close to the ending or you can still continue watching but just having in mind that there is nothing special aside of applying the snow effect and the background which i blur and that's just it's nothing more different in this one but just the way i create the oil painting effect but you can still watch the video for you to you know master the technique so that you get used to this kind of technique instead of the oil painting technique because i already promised you guys to make a demo about the oil painting technique but i just have to publish this video first before doing a demo and doing the other videos which i need to do because if I keep making the videos about the oil painting and everybody is not getting along with the video, it's not really going to make any sense for me to continue doing it. So if after watching this video, then when I make the demo and you guys watch the demo, then you will be able to uh, improvise by making use of this technique. That is, if you can't make use of the oil painting filter in your own Photoshop, you can make use of this technique to follow along with the demo because I'll be making some other different style of this oil painting filter like there's one there's one I will be making after I finish up with these videos I will be doing and also I will be making a caricature with this technique because I already have an artwork I want to do for someone and I'm picking up the caricature so I want to mix it up with this technique so you guys just stay tuned I promise you guys that Within no time or within the ending of this month, which you know is gonna end me probably in two weeks or so on, you guys will get used to this technique and start making use of it in your own project or start making use of it to earn money for yourself. Just probably giving yourself two hours or putting in two hours or maybe less, or maybe if you're just a beginner, putting on putting up more than two hours just to achieve this technique but once you get used to it you can do this in less than one hour depending on how fast you can be or how good or how real reliable you can be in making all this kind of artwork so i hope you guys enjoyed this video but don't worry i'm still going to uh, do something nice for you guys to you know make you perfect this oil painting technique And you should know that this technique requires a uh, high-end PC because this really frees my PC on the process of making this um, artwork. But it really frees my PC because I couldn't make use of my main PC which I use for making YouTube videos because I was away from home while I was working on this um, artwork. I just have my backup PC with me that's where i did this artwork but the main reason why it frees my system is because this is almost um a 4k 
document and I'm working on 600 resolution which is really really going to be a large document at the end of everything because I just want to maintain the high-rise high document as you can see I'm working with a smart object of which I'm really going to show you guys how to work with a smart object so that I retain every quality of this document at the end of everything so in order to fix that for it not to freeze up your own system or your own PC you just want to you just want to reduce the resolution to something about 300 or probably even 150 it just really depend on how you want it to be but try not to go higher than 300 depending on your PC but if your PC is really high you can go up to 600 but just make sure you know for a start for a beginner just make use of the 300 resolution for you not to get frustrated halfway while making this as well A little bit of difference here while smudging the cloth. Like when I was smudging the cloth, you know, at that moment my PC is becoming so much laggy and the smudging is no more responding to how I really want it to be. So what I just did, I just have to crop some part of the image by resizing it to what fit in to the document size which I'm working on. This part of this video is really different from the ones I've been making before. So at this point, I get back to the original image and I grab the soft ground pressure brush in Photoshop to start bringing back the hair. And I keep from the colors of the hair to start bringing back the hair into this image so that to retain some kind of reality and so because there are so many flyaways on the hair, I just have to bring it back. When looking at the image without the flyers, it's really looking boring and it's not really making any sense. So I just have to bring back those details in the head and make use of the soft and pressure brush in Photoshop.
now after doing every reach i'm supposed to do then i repeat the same process applying the same effect to the artwork so i guess this is the last time i apply the Shut effect the door and behind go on and apply the effect face the wall in mind. your hallway there a girl looking at me damage your should image i go process, back so and stay it was hard, so okay, it was dark. That's really gonna bring me Got to in my end car part on the video. run. And remaining on that part of this Didn't video, think just watch and take out your time to now I'm a little bit of things, a little bit of technique that and I just add to this because there's nothing really much aside of adding up the slow and so on. Stay. I guess if this video really helped you, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and now you're a subscriber to bring the best items so that you don't miss any new videos I will be on this channel. I think Photoshop and Twitter has to be here, but mainly it's everything about ads, you know, just ads. Just add to the Photoshop. Yeah, just add to the So when you subscribe, you will. Get update of videos every week in this channel and make sure that you stay tuned and do have a nice day.